Okay, welcome to the New York International Auto Show. And here are some pictures from today. Here's the BMW i8 in a form of a police car or a security car or a safety car. A beautiful, very impractical car, of course, a two-seater supercar. Um, there's a lot there's a lot of crowd around it, but it's been around for two years now. Here's the cousin, the sister, the young brother, I would say, the i3. Now, the i3 is much more popular. It's a four-seater with those suicide doors, a very nice uh, two-tone uh, <coughs> uh, leather, I guess leatherette or cloth or whatever that is, uh, with the regular charger and the CCS charger. Uh, yeah, I always, always like to go to the trunk. Uh, it's a very small trunk, smaller than the leaf, but it is flat. It is flat because the battery is in the back. You can, you can uh, fold the, the uh, the seats and you it, it, it's a good functional car and this is uh, the incredibly small a uh, smart for two all electric uh, manufactured by um, Mercedes so we visit there uh, it is all electric I don't think it's available in every in every state but um, you know I see the regular version driven all around the state. So it is a two-seater, it's a tiny little commuter. It's a very cute car. Not for me, of course, but whatever. It has a little tiny boot. You can put a shopping bag, maybe, maybe. Okay, let's move to the e-Golf. The e-Golf, the 125 miles per charge e-Golf. Got a nice refresher very clean looking car here is the inverter and underneath is the um it's the motor it has a um, as you see 125 miles per charge it has i think a 30 kilowatt hour battery it looks exactly like the regular uh, e-golf but um, um it is sold in all state but it's limited production it has a nice boot uh, they don't sell a lot of them by, by, by any stretch so it's probably more like a compliant car even though it is um, it is uh, available in uh, all states in all 50 states I, I've seen them did I see them in New Jersey? I don't think I did I don't think I've ever I've seen them in the dealership I don't think I've ever seen one driven in the street but I see them in the auto show every single year they always repeat it's a very nice clean looking car nice german interior you know uh the uh, the glove compartment it's deep the uh, uh the dashboard is very very nice it's very smooth just like an ipad very extremely responsive um unlike the first generation i haven't seen the first actually i did see the first generation in the auto show the uh the interface was not so responsive but this is a very big upgrade very nice interface screen but still nice german looking car uh, clean not too complicated very traditional gear but obviously it's electric car and it could be extremely functional if it was sold it's a very very pretty looking car guys i have to say nice aloe wheels okay the next one is here i am this is what 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 can i see i think this is the Oh, my Nissan Leaf, I love my Nissan Leaf, there it is, my, my favorite, my Nissan Leaf took 100 miles and it's not fully charged, this is the 107 miles, uh, the bigger battery, the 30 kilowatt battery, uh, the only thing that is different, the two things that are different obviously is the, um, the battery size, but also the uh, interface, the uh, screen is different than mine, uh, it is, uh, has more function, it's a little bit more um, uh, responsive. It has more uh, options, as you can see. Uh, it, it's good. Other than that, it looks exactly the same like my 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 Nissan Leaf. It's really the best pure electric car in this class. Really the best. Really so functional. Better than a BMW. I would not buy the BMW instead of this one or the Eagle for anything. Great boot. Great. Uh, functional well built extremely it's really really a fantastic car i love i love the nissan leaf really other than all 
all the other ones that uh, I've seen uh, just just mass produced you can get them anywhere I see them all the time I don't care what anybody says I like the I love the bug eyes it looks like is they have a fast charging network coming up at 95 I have to look into that I really have to look into that and here is the is that the BMW is it the BMW I know it's the Hyundai it's the Hyundai well that is I have to tell you that that is my favorite car uh, other than Leaf that I saw today a regular beautiful sedan tons of room tons and tons of room you will not know that you're driving a plug-in hybrid car it has I believe 25 to 30 miles per charge a larger battery it's 8.5 I believe battery it does have uh, all kinds of function uh, all kinds of modes it does have a charge mode I believe I didn't look into it too much it is uh, you know it's a nice looking car but I have to deep look at this deep um, glove compartment but I have to say that other other of all of the sedans the four the four door sedans this was the best this was the absolute best move over, move over out of the way my son and the, the the back seats are increased my wife going back seats are incredibly comfortable she absolutely loved it look how much legroom you got uh you can see it four adults very comfortably and fifth one can squeeze in between the boot was that's i think where the battery is so the boot is raised a little bit yes you see it is raised a little bit so you do lose some of the of the uh, uh, baggage compartment the boot compartment but you gain a lot in legroom so it's a trade-off like everything else it is a trade-off because it has also a gasoline engine so you can uh, go as far as you want nice alloy wheel regular charger they all had a charger attached to them in, in throughout the photo show All right, moving to the Bolt EV, the, my, the biggest disappointment of the day, in my opinion. A small little tiny box for a lot of money. So very little room in the back, really tiny, tiny room. And you see how my feet, my legs are raised up. Um, um, I could not open the trunk, but you know, it's a little, little trunk. It's okay it's not not that bad uh, that's not the biggest problem it's just the seats are so narrow it's a nice wrap around uh, 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 back tail lights and you see 238 miles that is the biggest biggest advantage like I said in the other video if you are waiting for the Nissan Leaf the second generation wait wait for that one the Nissan Leaf is just so much so much better so um, uh, I, I was you're gonna see me uh, sit in the um, sit in the front seat it's just not so comfortable and it's a very tiny car with a lot of with very high price very very high price. look at that I'm like spilling from the side now the height is okay the height is fine inside you have plenty of uh, of headroom and the interior is also very similar to it, but everything is just small. Everything is just small. Uh, it's very similar to the Chevy Volt. All the ergonomics and all the, um, the the instruments and all that, very similar to the Chevy Volt. So if you drive a Chevy Volt and you drive this, you are, you're you going to feel familiar. So, it is my, I really was looking forward for that, but it is disappointed. It does have the CCS, obviously. But like I said, it is not so great in my opinion. All right, moving on. The my beloved Chevy Volt. Not that you need to know anything about it. I have lots of videos about the Chevy Volt, but I figure I'll take some photos of this. I, I like the color of this car. Very nice, very nice color. Very similar to um, to uh, uh, 
you know, the 2016, this is the 2017, not too many changes, if any, to the car. It's a beautiful car. It is an absolutely sexy, beautiful car. Nice sports car. Love it. We love it. Um, all right, here is the Kia Soul with the Bosch. Uh, charger the Kia Soul I have not seen even one here is the Chatamo adapter uh, connector uh, it gives you 110 120 miles or so 33 kilowatt hour battery it says box it's a my wife said I said to my wife what how do you feel like it's a box it's a box it's nice you know if you like the Kia the regular gasoline Kia Soul this is exactly exactly the same thing same dimension same look same everything it just has it is an all electric it is also limited sale they don't sell too much of it they say if they sell any if it's in the west coast i haven't seen even one driving on the road here little tiny boot not too big uh, but it is straight which is very nice which is very nice. straight boots flat boots are very very useful for whatever it is that you need to uh, to haul along Nice two-tone color, the blue and the white. And here's me trying to get in somebody's face. Mm, very unique alloy wheel rims. Okay, this is a Cadillac CTS, I believe, or CT6. I've not seen that. I've not seen that car before. Don't know too much about it. I'll have to do a little bit of reading. It is a four-door. It's not like the the one before that was just a coupe. Very luxurious car. I don't know too much details about it. Because I just I didn't know it existed even, but I just saw it there, so I took this uh, these videos. If you know more about it, just put in the comment. I will obviously look into it and look uh, more details. But there were a lot of people uh, in, around, and I just tried to get in, and I just couldn't. A lot of people in and out. The very the whole Cadillac section at the auto show was very very um, crowded. I'd say very crowded. So here it is, it's a four-door luxury car. Uh, did I get a shot of the boot? I think I did, yes, I did. Uh, yeah, the battery is in the back, so again, it is raised a little bit. It's not like the, I don't think, yes, it's in the back. It's not like the um, Chevy Volt uh, that has the battery in a T-shape in the middle. This, so this has a nice four, Four door, five passengers. You know, it has a video video monitor in the back. Two video monitors in the back. People were raving about. It. Very look at the legroom, beautiful legroom. So it is a car. I don't know how what size of the battery it is, but you see it's in the back. It's the shoved between the back seat and the beginning of the trunk. Here is the Porsche Cayenne S hybrid, plug-in hybrid. These are this is a beautiful car. However. They all just like the Volvo and the um, and the uh, what do you call it? The Volvo and uh, and the BMW, the 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 four by fours. They have small batteries, so it gives you like 15 miles, 20 miles at the most. So they're just like almost a token plug-in hybrid, not uh, not really committed. There's no commitment there. It's just there. But, you know, I have a friend who owns the BMW, it gets like 40, 40, 50 miles per gallon on, on a big SUV, so that's, that's good, I mean, whatever you can say, why not, but it was luck, so we couldn't get in, nobody could get in, even though this car been on the road, yeah, nice try, but it, even though this car was on the road for, I think, two or three years already, this car, you know. All right, moving along, what do we got here is another, oh, that is the Porsche Panamera Turbo. <clears throat> yes, I don't think you are allowed to come in this one too. No, not, not allowed to come in. It is with a lot of crowd around it. It is a four-door. it has been around as well also, but again, it's like 15-mile, 20-mile car. And the rest is just a beautiful supercar that uh, to, yes e hybrid you see turbo to 18 to 18. so um it is a powerful car for 
over maybe over 100 grand but Porsche you know they make nice looking cars I got, it, I got, I got you got to give it to them They're very very nice. all right moving along to the mini here is the mini the mini Cooper all electric I don't know if it's available in all state I venture that it isn't I venture that it isn't uh, there are some of the specs I didn't go through them it was so crowded today so it was hard to just to hang around and read the read the read the notes but I will look into this car more to see where it's available in pricing and everything but it is a full uh, five door you know everything you need uh, in, in, a reg, in a nice car but in a nice uh, mini car it is raised up a little bit it is boxy so on this side you got on one side you got the uh, gasoline and on the other side no actually this is a full electric my bad full electric so this is no gasoline so this is the charge port i asked the representative there and this is the charge port and i think she's going to open it for me because i asked her nicely did she is this is this a plug-in here? see i don't know too much about this car so i will look into it I will definitely look into it to see what the specs and everything. So I owe you explanation in that one. Here's a charge board right in the middle. I don't know how much you did open it for me. Alright, moving along to. The, oh look I forgot to tell you the fuel cell the Honda the, the Honda the Toyota Mirai made an appearance according to the representative they sold all the cars that they produced in California I'm not sure why they brought it to the New York New York show because they're not sold in New York or in the in, on the East Coast at all it is one of them my is my wife she's inside this is one of them uh, how can I explain it? Like so expensive car that has zero function. It's a four-seater also. This is a zero function car because there are no fuel, fuel, fuel cell stations. It's not like an electric car that everybody has an electric outlet at home that you can charge anywhere. This is, if you don't have a fuel, you don't, you're not going to have a fuel tank in your house. You want to blow up the joint. So... But it is a nice car. It's a Toyota, so it's very, very well made. You know, it, it is, but, but, but if unless you live in certain area in Southern California, you're not, you're not getting this car. It cannot be sold anywhere because there are no fuel uh, station. It does have a nice boot, very nice boot. So I have to say, it's, a, you know, it's a functional car. If it was, um, you know, if you could fuel it, I, I, I think it's. Again, this is one of my another one of my categories that I call a stupid car. That it's, it's a car that is built and it has no function because nobody can buy it unless you, one of the few people who live in a certain area that has fuel cell and you can only go certain places and if you stuck then you good luck. So I, it's like I don't get the point of this car, but it's a nice looking car. It's a nice car. It's almost like a, um, that's the fuel cell thing. It was it was luck. So, if you can have it in certain areas, why not? It's a very, this is one of my favorite actually, the, uh, the Volvo XC90. It's a big, huge car, huge, humongous, mammoth, seven seater, a gigantic car. Uh, the tradition of Volvo in Sweden, well built, very safe, but it is, a, I would call a mild hybrid when it goes, and also. It has not a big battery, so it will go, I don't know, 10 miles, 15 miles on, on, on a charge. And then it's, it's, it's a hybrid, it's a regular hybrid car. So you can average 30, 35, which is not too bad for, for a car in this side. It's a mammoth car. You stand next to it, it's a big, big, big car. So um, again, there are a lot of people around it, a lot of people. Around this car. I 
tried to get in, but I couldn't. Because there were lines of people to get in. Okay, moving on to the... Is that the police point? Is that the police point? Yes, it is the police point. Actually, it's the first car we saw. The first car we got into. It's the police point. Uh, Again, okay, that is a little an anomaly because the Japanese, I, I won't say the I shouldn't say the Japanese, the um, Toyota and Lexus are the same company, they do not do plug-in anything. So this is the really, the first one with substantial battery, a substantial battery. It can get you 25 miles, which is not that bad. The battery, it's in the back, I'm going to show you. It's in the back, which raises the... Um, the uh, uh, the trunk space, tiny, tiny black button. Can't put that much in it. Uh, it is a four-seater. It's not like a four-seater and a little one. I it is a pure four-seater. No, no fifth seat here. It is. See how it's really high. The trunk is really high. See, it is like a big, a big cake in the back. And you have a door with a dual black with a dual. Um, a port. One is for the electric, the other one is not for the gas because I saw the gas on the other side, so I'm not sure what the other one for. But it is a nice looking car, people are buying it, which makes me happy. So it is, listen, hey, it well, is. Well, if you stay this long, good car. for you, 25 minutes, good for you. I mean, 21 minutes, good for you, I really appreciate it. So, Beth and I want to thank you for watching, and if you have a chance to go to a, an auto show, Please do, it's a really, really fun experience. And please remember to help me change the world one electric car at a time. Thank you, everybody. Have a great weekend.